I'm Dave Whiting. I'm the valedictorian for 2021. I'm currently working as a consultant in Australia. Yeah, it's, it's funny, I'm one of those guys who likes to look at the long-term goals. So I used to write uh, my goals down on a piece of cardboard paper with a permit marker. Don't worry, I didn't used to take them to the traffic lights or anything. I'd just put them up on the cupboard and kind of think through what I wanted to do in my career and the likes. And the MBA just felt like it had an important place in that journey. I was in South Africa. I, was, um, I just started my engineering journey. So I was in uh, engineering training. Um, at the time, so still very young and at the beginning of the, of the career um, I was based in a pulp and paper mill. I think that the, the key reason really was the path that I wanted to take was to get to a certain level within a corporate business and then to take the step of starting my own business and really follow, following my passion. So to do that I felt the MBA would broaden my business knowledge which was key but it would also give me that um, credibility and confidence to, to take the step. So a real catalyst to, to make that split between the comfort of corporate to the, the challenge of running your own, you know, your own business. I think the thought of, of studying again for a lot of people is, is quite a big one to get your head around. So yeah, I was a bit nervous, um, but I must say getting into an online type learning platform and um, once you got your head around it was, was an absolute pleasure. I found it a lot more efficient um, I found the, not having the pile of books and the highlighters and the formal classroom sessions versus you know being self-paced, really doing a lot of research yourself and having a platform that, that gives you that flexibility, just fantastic. So it really clicked with me. I think the, the MBA just gives you that injection of confidence that you need. It gives you the tools perhaps that, that you need. Um, and it gives you the credibility too. I think it also changes your mindset. You look at opportunities and challenges a little bit differently, probably a little bit more worldly, you know, with a little bit more of a, a broader lens, which helps. So it's been, it's been a catalyst for that, absolutely, yes. The success for me is, is having the guts to start my own consultancy. Yeah, I consider that to be one of the successes of the MBA. Actually, what I did was one of my final subjects I wrote a paper on taking a certain company into a different industry um, and that's that's come to life and I'm now helping them through that journey so so that's been quite exciting so that's that's probably another attributable, attributable success to MBA and goes to the point of about being practical about these subjects you know making them real for you. I'm very goal driven and I think the, the key now is is the business side so taking it through a, that successful startup start up phase you know, finding the clients that are really meaningful to me and just following my, my passion. And you know, my passion is about really helping people and helping leaders, and help them find that their performance strides, um, as well as being there for my family. So it's about balance. Um, and yeah, I think I'm on the, the right journey now.